whenever we talk about effects, there are two types that we can work with in Adobe Audition. One is the destructive uh, effect and the other is the non-destructive effect. So let us record an audio and le let me show you what a destructive effect is. So I'm going to record, um, uh, record my voice right here. So this is a recording for audio effect test. So you can see that this is my audio. So this is a recording for audio effect test. Now what I want to do is I want to apply effects. Uh, the effect that we apply from here are all destructive. So if I were to go over here, I want to go for, let's say something uh, like a reverb right here. So I'm going to go to reverb and I want to increase the reverb uh, right here. Let us play that out. Right. So this is a recording for audio effect test. So right now the effect has not been applied yet. So this is a temporary preview. I'm just going to hit apply. And here you can see the audio wave changes itself. So if I were to play it, it sounds like this now. So this is a recording for audio effect test. So this is something known as a destructive effect. That is the uh, effect itself is added onto the audio clip. Another way to do that, I'm going to press Ctrl Z to revert that out. Let us hear if it has been undone. So this is a record. Okay. The other way I can add effect is a temporary effect right here, which I can enable and disable right there. So in order to do that, I can I can use something called an effects rack. Uh, so it is here. It does take up a processing uh, power from your computer while you're playing back, but it does save a lot of uh, details in the audio itself. So if you do not want to want the effect, you can simply remove it. In order to if uh, access the effect rack, you can go into Windows and over here you can see that there's effect rack. So over here you can add in multiple level effects as much as you want. So now what I want to do is I'm gonna go over here. You can see that there's the effect rack right there. So I want to click on this arrow and here you can see the same option that you see at the top. So I want to add in a reverb. I'm gonna say I'm gonna add in a studio reverb right here. So I'm going to play this out. So this is a recording for. So I'm going to increase the uh, decay level. I'm going to add in some width over there. So let me just hear the how, that, how that sounds. So this is a recording for. So let's say this is the effect that I want to add. So you can see you cannot see any apply button right here because this is a temporary effect. So let me just close that out. And you can see that the studio reverb effect is actually saved onto the effect rack. And if I want to add in more uh, more effect, I can simply go over here. Let's say I want to add in a filter and an EQ. So I'm going to go for graphic equalizer right here. I'm just going to use a uh, preset right here, like quick low pass filter. All right. So let's say this is one of the effects that I want to use. So I'm going to close that. And you can see that the effect is actually here. So I can also add in another one. So I'm going to add, add a vocal enhancer right here. So I'm going to add in a male vocal enhancer and close it. And notice that once I add in the effect, the audio wave does not change because it is not actually making a hard, hard level of change to the audio wave itself. It's just applying this uh, by processing, processing it on the go. So let us hear how that sounds. So this is a recording for audio effect. And since this is a temporary level of effect, non-destructive type of effect, I can simply go over here and I can toggle the uh, effect on knob. So if I want to turn off the graphic equalizer right here, because that really messes up the audio, I'm so just going to disable that. And you will just hear other two effects. So this is a recording for audio effect test. So you can see that you can enable and disable the audio effect just like that by using the non-destructive effect. As much as you can, it is a good idea to uh, use the non-destructive effect unless uh, it's, it's becoming really slow out there. And another thing is not all the effects that you find over here on the effects menu. You can see that there are a lot of options right here. Not all of them are actually available over here. So only some of them are uh, over here. But as the version of the Adobe Edition is going on, they are adding in uh, much more effects over time. So that is how you can use the destructive and non-destructive effects inside of Adobe Edition. Hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Bye.